Okay, estimating square roots and cube roots. Well, let's start off with this first example. We want to find the square root of 23. The first thing that comes to mind is I notice that 23 is not a perfect square number. Therefore, I know that the square root of this is not going to be an integer like it would be before. So what I do is I start thinking of perfect square numbers. Okay, like these right here, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49. Those are all perfect square numbers. Then I think, okay, where would 23 be? Where Or where in between which two is 23 found? And 23 is found right here in between this spot right here, between 16 and 25. So I also mentally take note is 23 is closer to 25 than it is to 16. So therefore I'm going to say that the square root of 23 is going to be closer to the square root of 25 than it is to the square root of 16 since 16 and 25 are the perfect squares that it's in between. So I'm going to finally come up and say that the square root of 23 is about, we use the little squiggly, not the equal sign, but this is approximation, about the same as the square root of 25, which is 5. So, in other words, I'm going to say the square root of 23 is about 5. And this will be our answer right here. So all this right here is kind of my thinking process that helps me get to this answer. Dang it. Okay, so once again, we're asked to find the square root of a number. This number is 135. And I think to myself, is 135 a perfect square? And I say no. So I start thinking of the perfect square is around 135. Okay, so I come up with 100, 121, 144, and 169. So I have to think to myself, which one is it in between? Which two integers or perfect squares is 135 in between and it's in between here this is where 135 will be my next thought is to figure out which perfect square 135 is closer to is it closer to 121 or is it closer to 144 so I just kinda subtract them and I see that 135 is 14 units away from 121 and 135 is 9 units away from 144. So it's closer to 144. So that means I'm going to have the approximation. So I'm going to say the square root of 135 is about the same as the square root of 144, which is 12. So 12 is my answer. Okay, in this example we are finding the cube root this time, not the square root, but the cube root of 51. So again, I have to start thinking of the perfect cubes. And I come up with 1, 8, 27, 64, because remember cube, perfect cubes are the numbers when we cube them. So this is 1 cubed is 1, 2 cubed is 8, 3 cubed is 27, 4 cubed is 64, and so on and so forth. Uh, just like I did in square roots, I gotta figure out where is the 51 in between, and 51 is in between these two perfect cubes. So now I gotta figure out which one is it closest to. So I go ahead and subtract 51 and 27 to find that it's 24 units away from 27, and subtract 64 and 51 to find out it's 13, so it is closer to 64. So I'm going to go ahead and say the cube root of 51 is approximately the same as the cube root of 64 which is 4. Okay back to square roots. Uh, if we're trying to find the square root of a decimal number and it's not a perfect square decimal then we would do the same kind of thing. I would think of the perfect squares that 15.6 will be in between. 
okay which is 9 and 16 uh, so we got to decide which one is it closest to it looks like it's closer to 16 because 15.6 is just 0.4 away from 16 and 15.6 is a little more about five units away so it's closer to 16 so that's going to tell me that the square root of 15.6 is approximately the same as the square root of 16 which is 4 so there we go alright so uh, good luck with estimating square roots and cube roots